Hello and welcome to Toy Ploy 2 and today we have an unboxing video as I've received a couple of packages in. I've also got a few bits that I picked up on a recent trip to the US that I wanted to show you and as you can see the guys are pretty eager to get into the first box so let's crack on with the unboxing and see what's been sent in. So first up we're going to take a look at a couple of the bits that I picked up on a recent trip to the US. I was over there visiting family, didn't have a huge amount of time to uh, do sort of uh, hunting and that but I did go to a Target and in that Target they had this and of course I had to grab it. This is the two pack Masters of the Universe uh, Stranger Things crossover. So at the top we have a version of Skeletor. It's a slightly more muted uh, colour palette for Skeletor but a really nice figure. And then on the bottom we have the Demogorgon which I think is an absolutely fantastic looking figure. I'm really quite keen to open these although I do really like the packaging as well so I'm going to have to be quite careful when I open it because I think this packaging is fantastic the way one is up that way and then the Demogorgon is upside down. It's a really clever design of packaging so I do actually want to keep like that but I do want to play with the figures as well so that is something I'm going to open soon. Then I did actually find a couple of vintage pieces at a vintage fair so let's take a look at those. First up was this and this is a Mego Eagle Force figure. I don't think these were released in the UK I certainly don't see them particularly often. They are much smaller figures about the same size as a Miles Mayhem uh, from Mask figure and they are predominantly made out of metal. The head is made out of a little bit of rubber but the rest of the body is made out of metal. I picked this guy up for five dollars which I don't know if it's a good value or not because I very rarely see them but for five dollars I thought he was well worth it so I grabbed that at the vintage fair. Then on another stall I found this which is a bit of a strange one to pick up. It's another uh, McDonald's toy so something that you'd have got in a McDonald's Happy Meal. This is from I think it says uh, 19... 94 so it's a fairly old thing it's about what's that about 30 years old uh, and this is a Barbie toy. The reason I picked it up actually is because this is Ken on a little jet ski. It's the uh, sort of lifeguard version of Ken but I thought that jet ski was absolutely fantastic. It's about the same size to work with the um, Fisher Price Adventure People figure. So I paid three dollars for this and I will open it at some point mainly for the jet ski. I thought for three dollars I couldn't go wrong with that. So those are the two little vintage things that I found while I was on holiday. Maybe next time I'll find some more but I was still pretty happy just to find those two pieces. This next package has come from Graham at the next 17 who makes these uh, really cool sort of retro style Star Wars figures that I've reviewed many times over on Toy Ploy and he got in touch to say that he'd got a new figure he'd like to send over for me to review. So I thought I'd do an unboxing here first before reviewing it properly over on the main channel. So uh, let's take a look at what he sent in. Right so what have we got first? Well there's the card for the next 17. He has a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to put links to all of his stuff in the uh, description below and as I say we have uh, seen some of these figures before because I have reviewed them. So we've got all of these cool figures and lots of little accessories and they always come with these nice cards so you can see what you're collecting and how many figures that he has made and also these really cool little uh, backdrop cards that you can use to sort of build up dioramas and we also have a little collector card there with uh, Hermie. It says taking the vermin for a walk. That's a really nice little collector's card there. But what we really want to see is what the figure is. So let's unwrap this. Ah oh, there we go. This is one that he's been uh, sort of talking about for a little while now. This is Luke in the back to tank. So this is from uh, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back and you actually get Luke and a back to tank it looks like. So let's open this up and we'll take a look at the uh, figure and the back to tank. So I can see there there's the uh, base and the top part of the back to tank. It's a really nice box as well, a nice little way of displaying it. So you can see there's the figure on the front and the next 17 on the side. And then in here we have what looks like a perspex tube and then there's Luke in the middle of it. So let's take a look at Luke. So this is an all new figure. It's uh, looking really pretty cool. It's got well wrapped as well. Let me just pull that off here. So this is Luke in his sort of um, yeah his sort of pants and belt with a little bit of a battered face there because he's obviously been attacked by the Wampa and this is an all new figure. That looks really nice. So let's put the back to tank together. It's again got a bit of plastic on it. Let's open that up. So it looks like that goes in there. Nice snug fit. And then we can put Luke in. So he's in the back to tank being treated by uh, all of the droids and that before he gets uh, back on his feet. That is really nice. I like the look of that. So good for dioramas. That's going to be a really cool figure for many people who want to do dioramas. And I do happen to know that uh, Pally Toys or Pally Toys, who I've reviewed their sort of uh, play sets before as well, they are working on a Hoth one, which uh, I think this will go with very nicely. So that is amazing. Thank you ever so much for sending that over. I will do a proper review of this over on the Toy Ploy soon, but absolutely fantastic. This package is from Peter in Denmark and he's sent stuff in before. He's 
always sending in really good sort of masters of the universe projects and again he got in touch with me recently saying he had a few more pieces that he'd like to send over potential projects for me to work on and this has just arrived and i can see we have a note there with a skeletal on the front saying what is this a gift for dave you say why not for skeletal skeletal wants a gift too you fools well let's read what peter has sent and it says hi dave and merry christmas what almost Christmas, a couple of months away. Uh, here's a little Christmas present. I hope it's stuff you can put to use. Uh, no mayhem this time, but it's a really fun project. I've been watching your channel for years now and I've seen it grow. You're doing a great job fixing toys using stuff most people can get themselves. Whether it's seeing you fix toys I never had or knew about or toys that bring back memories, there's something for everybody. I really enjoyed supporting the channel with Broken Toys beginning some years ago with the Fright Zone. Yeah, that was a really fun project. Uh, to more recently, the Spider, which also turned out great. Another really fun fun project. Uh, keep it up and have fun Peter and it says on the bottom info on the back for unpacking. I won't read that bit yet. Let's just go straight in and see what he has sent. So we have got, hmm, I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's put that to one side and we've got, uh, oh that's a mask vehicle. I can't remember the name of this mask vehicle. It's one I have and it's a really fun little one because it's got all sorts of bits with it and it fires bits off the back of it. I'm going to have to look that up quickly. It's the Firecracker. I should have known that. I'm getting slightly better at remembering names, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of them to remember. And it even comes with the little figure and his mask as well. That is absolutely fantastic. Then what else do we have? Well, do you know what? There's so much in there. I think I'm going to have to have a rearrange because I'm not going to be able to get to the bottom of it. But uh, let's just have a quick look at this one. Right, I think I know what that other part is for. I think that's from the uh, Bean Blaster, or at least something like that. So, yeah, let me have a rearrange and I'll take a look at the rest of the box. Right, I've had a rearrange and there's all sorts of stuff falling out of this toy. Uh, it seems to be full of seeds. I think maybe something was living in it at some point. You can see all of these bits have fallen out of the bottom of it. And this is the uh, Fright Fighter, or at least parts of the Fright Fighter. That should clip in the bottom there. And then uh, under the other vehicle here, which I know is the tail on fighter we've got all the wings this is a vehicle i have never seen before it's fairly battered and broken i can see there's bits snapped off it and bits snapped off here but it is the bare bones of uh, the fright fighter which is really quite interesting and i can see inside we've also got some more pieces what have we got here oh well look there's one of the broken off pieces always useful then we have uh, this guy which i believe is called blast attack he's supposed to uh, split apart but it looks like part of that mechanism has broken so he no longer clips together then we have a few weapons i recognize that one i think that's from Mechanic, is it i think that's possibly Mechanic. and then that is um i'm going to say is that tongue lashes weapon very useful. I don't think I have Tongue Lash's weapon. I don't actually think I've got Mechanex weapon. So those are really useful pieces. But yeah, there is an awful lot of uh, stuff falling out of this one. As I say, we've got the uh, wings over here as well. So that could be a very fun project if I can find some uh, donor parts to uh, put the rest of this together. But certainly the basis of a, a good project for the future. And then what do we have over here? I think I'm going to have to have a little sweep up. There's all these seeds have come out of it. I reckon something was living inside that. Okay, mildly cleared that away. And um, here, what do we have? This to me looks like the Talon Fighter. Another toy I've wanted to work on for a very long time. I have a few pieces for this in my collection. I've got a smashed up sort of version of the uh, main body, uh, but this looks like more of it. Again, in sort of a fairly played with state, one of his feet just fell off. I think I have one of the wings. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to sort of search around, see what I've got, but let's open this up and see what's inside. So yeah, that is the uh, Talon Fighter. Ah, oh, and there's something quite exciting there. I'll just move that to one side. And there we actually have uh, Mechanic. So uh, this is to go with the weapon, I guess. I can't remember how you're supposed to move his uh, sort of head up. I guess it's uh, spin the body like that. So that doesn't appear to uh, be working. But yeah, the tail on fighter. It's got lots of bits missing, but it's certainly uh, something I can work on. I've got the little base that it's supposed to stand on, the bit that goes on Castle Grayskull. So yeah, that is going to be a really fun project. I'm sure I have more pieces for that somewhere. So good hunting around and I might find some of those. And then in here, this is quite an exciting thing. This is a uh, scare glow which is one of the sort of uh, rarer he-man figures he's always in a very sorry state because he always gets broken but this is a really good starting point for a project as you can see poor chaps lost one arm this plastic gets incredibly brittle so you, you very rarely find these uh, unbroken but he's such a rare toy and i think uh, with a little bit of uh, care and attention 
I can probably get him looking pretty reasonable. He's supposed to have a cape, which is always missing, and you know I'm pretty good at making capes. So um, that's the easy part. The arm may be a little bit more tricky, but maybe I can transplant an arm from someone else. He does glow in the dark, or at least he was supposed to glow in the dark. I'm guessing a lot of that doesn't work anymore, but that is absolutely fantastic. So Peter, thank you so much for all of these pieces. These are going to be some uh, really fun future projects. So there we go. That is it for this unboxing. I have to say a massive thank you to Peter for very kindly sending over all of these uh, Masters of the Universe projects. There's a few things I've never seen here before with some very interesting problems. So it's going to be quite fun trying to work out how I can go about fixing them. I have no idea how I'm going to sort out an arm for the uh, scare globe, but I will do it because that's a figure that I really do want to get fixed up. And all of the others are just very interesting projects. Also, a massive thank you to the Next 17 for very kindly sending over the uh, Lukin back to tank. I'll put a link to their website and all the bits uh, in the description, but I will be reviewing that fully over on Toyploy in the coming weeks. So do keep an eye out for that. Uh, thanks to everyone for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you've really enjoyed it, then head on over to my main channel Toyploy and subscribe there as well. And thanks for watching.